Leatherman tools enjoy popularity not only in the United States, but in more than 80 countries worldwide. It didn't start out that way, however. In fact, there was a time when no one was interested in the multi-tool. The knife companies said, this isn't a knife, this is a tool. So then I went to the tool companies and they said, sorry, this is not a tool, this is a gadget. The year was 1975, when on a trip across Europe with his wife, a young Tim Leatherman found himself often needing more than just a basic scout knife he carried. While attempting to fix leaky plumbing in hotel rooms at a troublesome Fiat, Tim had the idea for a compact set of tools. Using cardboard, he laid out his design for what he would call a multi-tool. Once back home, Tim built the first prototype of the tool in his garage. It was enough to show the basic idea, and Tim set off to sell his concept to the highest bidder. I was pretty sure once I developed my prototype that the sale would be very easy. But all I would have to do is go to the knife company and show them my prototype and evidence that I had a patent on file, and they would buy it and pay me a million dollars, and I'd sit back and live happily ever after. But with no takers, Tim had no choice but to try to manufacture and sell the multi-tool on his own. After much trial and error, in 1983, a mail order company finally agreed to sell his product. He prepared to build as many as 4,000 tools, but in the first year alone, more than 30,000 orders were placed. Leatherman Tool Group was in business. Today, Leatherman continues to create new and innovative products, always with the goal of giving the consumer a tool that is convenient to carry, easy to use, and ready to handle anything.